everyone, Matt Miranda, AOA Board of Trustees student rep for the last time. I just want to say what an honor it's been to be here in COSGP and to serve all of you um, and to see all of your accomplishments uh, firsthand. You know, it's been nothing, nothing but a privilege for me. You know, I think the story of COSGP is ultimately a story of growth. I think back to my first days of medical school and my first time at COSGP, and I can't believe how much has changed since then in what seems like overnight. Um, and I've thought a lot about this, about how the key to growth is in the environment. And I guess that's what I want to really thank you all for, is for being a part of that environment. You know, here at COSGP, we lift each other up and build each other, and it really starts to feel like family. Um, and so for those of you who are new here, I just want you to keep this all in mind during your time at COSGP, that this is truly a special place and a family unlike anywhere else in the medical community. Uh, it might not feel like it now, but these people you're here with one day soon are going to feel like you're home away from home. So. It's been a pleasure to meet all of you, to grow with you, uh, and to form those bonds through COSGP. Uh, luckily, the osteopathic universe is small, so I have a good feeling that I'll be seeing you all again sometime very soon. But until then, you have my love, I wish you all the best, and thanks again. Hi everyone, um, recording this message right now is so, so bittersweet. I can't believe it's over. I can't believe that it's been a whole year. I remember last year coming in here, not knowing anybody, feeling like, what is this place? What are these people? And to my fellow GC, I just wanna say thank you. I love you guys so much. I've learned so much about myself through you guys this year has been amazing because i got to spend it with you i got to serve with amazing amazing humans like you guys thank you so much for making the transition from gc to eboard so so great you are all have been such a blessing in my life you have taught me a lot lot more than you know and i'm so grateful that I get to know you. I hope, hope that this is not the last time because I didn't get to hug you guys so much as much as I would have liked to in Arizona. So I hope this isn't the last time I get to see each and every one of you. Please, please stay in touch or I'll force you to stay in touch. Um, I love you guys so much. To the noob, the newbies, welcome to COSGP. You are in for an awesome, awesome treat. I cannot wait for this year. I can't wait to meet you all physically in July, hopefully. Um, and I'm so excited for what this year is going to bring for us. Um, I'm sure you've heard by now and I'm sure you've seen by now how awesome COSGP is. And I just want to say welcome to the family. Um, and yeah, I'm so sad. The man you want me to be. So stun right now, girl. Tell me. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Quarantine Blues, where we talk about how upset we are. COSGP is over. On a serious note, guys, I can't wrap my head around the fact that this is kind of it for me in COSGP. For some of you, I know that this is your last meeting as well, and for some of you, it's just the beginning. Um, I started my COSGP journey as my school's first VP, and the um, July meeting was my first meeting. I didn't have the opportunity to go to a spring meeting, so I kind of saw everyone kind of knew each other. They were putting themselves out there, and I unfortunately didn't do that. Um, it took me a while, actually until the January meeting, um, for me to open up, feel comfortable talking to other people, going to after hours, getting up the mic and speaking. I started to really feel comfortable and make a lot of friends, and then I realized that that was my last meeting as a representative for my school. Um, I was on the diversity committee and I was so passionate about what we were doing um, and I just wasn't ready to kind of give up to the OSGP and leave it at that. Um, I knew that I had so much more to give and I wanted to keep growing with everyone else in the OSGP and so I've been so fortunate 
to serve you guys as the diversity chair this year. You all taught me so much and I am so proud to know all of you all. Like, you all make me so happy to be a part of this profession and I know you're gonna do amazing things. Um, and I'm just really excited to see you guys become physicians and I hopefully can refer patients to you. Um, if we're not following each other on social media or whatever, please connect with me so I can just follow your journey and, and just watch you become even more successful than I know you already are. Um, I love you guys so much and you are going to do amazing things in the future. Thank you so much for But baby, I just wanna be Okay. So I tried to write a list of things I want to say to you guys for this video, but I just realized that um Yeah, so let's try that. When I got into medical school, they told me that I would make some of my best friends here. Um, I just didn't realize that that meant that they would come from different schools from across the nation. I remember when I first came into COSGP as a general council member, I thought to myself, what did I do to deserve this family? These people are some of the most compassionate, driven, intelligent, and loving people that I've ever met. And I'm not sure if I fit in. After a couple of meetings, I realized that I was home, you know? Um, CUSGP has been the best part of my medical school career. I only get to see you guys four times a year. This time it's three, unfortunately, but I look forward to these meetings so much. It's the highlight of my season, basically. To the outgoing SGA presidents, I just wanted to thank you guys so much. I am incredibly indebted to you guys for what you guys have taught me as a, le as a leader. And I am so inspired to know that you guys are following closely behind in our footsteps. Um, I cannot wait to see where you guys end up in the future and I look forward to being your colleague one day. To our incoming uh, members, I'm sorry we couldn't meet under better circumstances. I didn't get a chance to say hi to you guys in person or hug you guys, but I am very confident that the future of COSGP is in very good hands because you guys are gonna be phenomenal. To my executive board, I love you guys. You guys have become my best friends and I don't think I could ever, ever, ever imagine myself without you guys by my side. So with that being said, um, Brian, your National Programs Representative from COSGP. I'm out here in sunny El Paso, and I just want to say that it really sucks that we're not meeting each other in person in DC this year. For the outgoing people, we just want to say that it has been a blast. Uh, just working with you guys throughout this past year has been a true honor and a pleasure. Uh, cheering it up for after hours, that was super fun as well. Thanks for all the good memories. I've missed you guys so much. And for all the new folks coming in, it's going to be different, especially that you're not here for the transition meeting, but you guys are going to have a blast and I know you're just going to carry on the legacy. Um, if there's one thing I can say as advice right now, it'll be you're going to be okay on boards. I know that was in all of our minds last year at this point. Um, the boards was just constantly on our minds. It was a constant area of anxiety, but it's okay. You're going to do fine. Just trust the process. You're going to be safe. So the end of the year is here and it's crazy to see how fast it has gone by. It has truly been an honor to serve as your legislative affairs representative, but really though, it's just been a privilege to serve on COSGP at all. This is a very unique organization. No other profession has this strong of a student organization and I have learned so much from you all. It's a unique opportunity to be surrounded by other motivated, driven, and inspirational people. And every single meeting, I go home and I'm just motivated. I'm motivated to, to make some change because you guys all had so much energy and it was just infectious. 
So I want you guys to continue doing that. For those outgoing, this is just a see you later. This is not a goodbye. This deal world is small enough and our paths are bound to cross. As for the newbies coming in, welcome to the family. This is truly a family. You are going to make some lifelong friends and you're going to learn a lot. It's going to be overwhelming, but it's going to be well worth it. And two things, please do not leave my lobby chats behind. They are important and keep that going. But lastly, my favorite quote is, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. And I feel like this quote symbolizes all that COSUP and all that you guys have to offer in this world. Hi everyone. <laughs> so we've come to our last meeting of the year. Um, it's weird for me to not be emotional since I'm constantly sobbing. <laughs> Um, but I think that the knowledge that this is our last meeting didn't really get a chance to settle in um, since I didn't get to see you all in person. So I really seriously regret not giving each of you a giant bear hug when we left Arizona in January, but no one could have predicted that this would happen. Um, sitting here in my apartment, in a completely shut down city <laughs> with nothing to do since my rotations ended the week before match. Um, it gives you a lot of time to reflect. So this is my ninth COSGP meeting and I am so incredibly grateful to have had the opportunity to be involved over the past three years. It has been an honor to serve you as your national research representative, but more importantly, it's truly been an honor to get to know each and every one of you. COSGP has been such a gift during the hard times of medical school, especially last year as SGA president, I always had the knowledge, encouragement, and comfort that COSGP brought. Just knowing that you're not alone in the struggles you are facing has an immense impact on your wellness, and I hope you all continue to provide that support to each other for years to come. I am just so incredibly excited to see what the future holds for each and every one of you. And even though some of us are leaving the ranks of COSGP and the title of student, <laughs> that doesn't mean that we're moving on. I am always here for you and I love you all. So that's it. Be safe. Hey guys, Jake here. Uh, just saying farewell. So good luck next year. Uh, for the current members, you guys are going to do great. Keep moving, keep stepping forward, and things are always going to turn out okay. I know some of you might be a little stressed, but remember the juice is always worth the squeeze. Make sure you take time to smell the roses over the next couple months. And make sure that you ask questions more than answer them, and you observe more than you comment commentate. I'm going to miss you guys. It was great getting to know you. Uh, yeah, I wish we had this conference to get to know each other a little bit better, but circumstances are what they are. So just keep moving forward and it was great working with you guys. For the new and up and coming members, remember to steal everything. You're going to be going to these conferences, you're going to be stressed, you're going to have a whole bunch of stuff on your plate. But just remember that take the ideas away, bring them back to your school, bring them back for yourself as well. Because using all of that is going to make you a better person. And at the end of the day, helping others makes you better. And remember, you go whippy. You only get out what you put in. So to that, good luck next year. And I look forward to seeing what you guys do. Thanks. Hi everybody, it's Hannah Glanz, your National Medical Education Representative, here to wrap up the year and say goodbye um, and hopefully usher in a new great COSGP Executive Board um, and an even better year next year. So uh, to those of you who are new to COSGP, we're so excited to have you. We're so excited that over the next year you're going to learn to be a student leader, to advocate on the national level for medical education, and you're going to meet a lot of cool people. So you're going to have relationships with people from everywhere 
in the nation at different osteopathic medical schools. And for those of you that are outgoing, uh, just remember that you've cultivated relationships over this past year and you've learned a lot. You've gained a lot of new skills. So just make sure that you're taking that and you're using that to continue to be a student leader and continuing to advocate because you, your leadership doesn't stop here. It will continue on in the future. Um, otherwise, thank you guys all for your hard work this year. I'm so sorry that we have to say goodbye, but I am so excited to see what COSGP does over this next year. And of course, um, just want to give some props to my executive board. They're the most amazing people ever. And I'll probably say goodbye to them separately because that's when the tears will start. But uh, yeah, just continue to be the great people you are. Continue to advocate. Continue to be leaders within the medical education community. And I'll see you later. Keep in touch on Slack. All right, guys. Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm so, so sad that we have to do it this way and I can't do it in person. Um, to the new COSGP members, I really, really hope um, that you guys continue the spirit of COSGP. I know that this is a terrible way to have your first meeting, uh, but we truly are a big family. We love each other, we support each other. Um, and I know that maybe it's kind of hard to feel those feelings now with everything being virtual, um, but I hope that you just continue that for next meetings. Um, to all of my old COSGP peeps, I am so, so, so bummed that I didn't get to give you guys at least one more hug. I wish I hugged all of you a little bit tighter in Arizona. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys that you are some of the most inspiring, passionate, driven, amazing people that I've ever met. And I cannot wait to see where the rest of your journey takes you. Um, please don't be a stranger. And this goes for everyone. Um, reach out to me, call me, text me, FaceTime me. I guess we all FaceTime now. <laughs> now that we're all quarantined <laughs> um, and you guys can reach out to me literally for anything if it's you know you need to cry about something you need to yell you want to just like drink and have a glass of wine <laughs> i'm totally here for you guys um y'all are so awesome uh and lastly to my global health committee you guys were so much fun to work with this year uh, I felt like we were such a great team. We accomplished so much. and I'm so proud of all of you. All of your hard work and creativity was just amazing. So this is my final goodbye. Thank you guys for letting me serve you this past year. Hey, hey, all day out. Dance with my shadow. All right, listen up everyone. Sarah Lobauer, COSGP National Parliamentarian. I just wanted to say thank you so much for this opportunity you have given me this year to serve you as your parliamentarian. It has been an honor. I have learned so much from each and every one of you guys. To my outgoing COSGP members, remember this is not the end of the road. Continue to do great things because I know you will. Keep in contact with your COSGP friends. It's been great. For my incoming COSGP members, remember to take this seriously. You will make such amazing friends, lifelong friends on this council. And you will also have a lot of fun. You'll be able to grow and learn and really come out of your shell for who you are as a leader. Have fun doing it and make the best friends you ever will because I can promise you that I have. But that's it for me. CUSGP Parliamentarian out. Thanks everyone. And all the rest I can see right through. Yeah, hi fam. Uh, this is our domain. Just reaching out to let everyone know that it's been a pleasure serving CUSGP but as a general council member and as a national treasurer. It is my greatest privilege and greatest honor to have, you know, been part of this family for over two years. It's hard to know that this is gonna be the end of the road for my leadership with CSGP, but definitely not the end of my membership as the part of the family. I'm excited about the opportunity that has been opened up with this role with CSGP, and I know that I'm um, it is important for us to remember that leadership is 
not easy but when you have the right people around you it makes your life a lot easier and I want to urge everyone today not to take anything that we do here for granted you definitely will see a lot of good things here you're gonna learn a lot of great things here you're gonna walk out here a better person because I know that I'm living a better person better than I came and that is what CLGP does for you make sure you always stay engaged as a leader stay engaged be out there use your voice advocate advocacy is really really important and I think you're gonna find this out the more you spend time as an SGA president or vice president because you're gonna realize that when people don't have a voice people look up to you to be their voice and it is important for you to make sure you use your voice here at CRGP and back by your campuses and even at a national level as well keep doing great things guys be active be positive and I look forward to meeting you all and seeing you guys in the future thank you guys He's a big old jacked up SOB. That's Skylar Hill Norby National Secretary. Just wanted to say my quick goodbye. I am every time amazed at how when I come to CUSGP meeting, I always seem to meet someone new. They always seem to feel like family within two days of knowing them. And I just hope that moving forward, despite this virtual meeting, and despite what's to come in CUSGP future, that you guys can still figure out a way to maintain that family feeling with your next e-board, your next group of general counsel, and that you guys continue to feel the love that I know our whole e-board has felt this past year and the year before. I wanted to say a quick good luck to all of you with taking boards, step one, and then a good luck to all of you who are just starting your term as SGA president or vice president. You have people here that you can lean on that are know knowing what you are going through and they're definitely a good resource to have and to keep with you the rest of your lives. So, signing out. Once I'm talking about friends. Hi everybody. Um, Ed's gonna kill me because I'm setting this video in super last second, unlike everybody else, but Sorry, Ed, it's here. <laughs> I can't believe that it's already time for us to do these farewells as executive board. This has been probably the fastest and busiest year of my life, but at the same time, the most humbling and rewarding experience that I think I've ever had. I, I, can't, I don't even know if I can put into words like how grateful I am to have been able to be second vice chair and to have been able to have y'all's trust to um, be a part of this executive board. Um, this executive board has become a family that I didn't even know that I deserved. And this general council has allowed me to um, serve in a way that I felt meaningful and impactful and I feel so grateful for every single person on this council that I was able to meet and have conversations with and go dancing with and come home at 3 a.m. and wake back up at 5 a.m. with and I just want to say thank you for changing my life and changing who I am as a leader. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but thank you for the best year of my life. I love you all. Please do not uh, hesitate to ever reach out to me, to text me, call me, to come on down to Texas and go two stepping with me. I don't care. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for an unforgettable year. Fine. Oh, you turn out fine. Hi guys, I hate to have to say goodbye this way, but circumstances being what they are, goodbye. It's been an amazing year, it's been a wild ride, and I feel so lucky to have been a part of this chapter in every single one of your leadership. You've all inspired me throughout the year, and I know it sounds cliche, but I feel so honored to have been a part of this journey in your leadership. To you oldies, you outgoing, thank you for letting me be a part of your journey. Every single one of you has inspired me throughout the year, and I know it sounds cliche, but it's not. 
You're all fabulous leaders and you work tirelessly for the people you serve. You should be proud of how far you've come this year and how much you've grown. I'm proud of you. And I'm so fortunate to have been able to see you grow and to grow myself because of you. And to you newbies, I know this is an unconventional way to start your COSGP journey. I apologize for that, but the fact that we're having this meeting really speaks wonders to who this organization is and what we stand for. And I'm so jealous that you're just starting this journey, but I know that you will grow. It will be challenging, yes, but it will be one of the years that's the most meaningful to you. Savor every second, make every connection, and embrace every moment. I know you guys are gonna do wonderful things. Over the past year, the number one thing I've learned in leadership has been resiliency. There's a million different things that'll cause you to just wanna give up, wanna walk away, hurdles to overcome. But remembering that you're doing this not for yourself, but for everyone around you, gives you the strength to keep going. Find that strength, find that resiliency. When you've been knocked down, get back up and keep fighting because I know you guys are all amazing and I know it's a battle you won't lose. You're all fabulous people. I couldn't say that enough. Keep fighting for your goals. Keep fighting for your dreams. And remember, doing your best is enough. Stay true to yourself because you are you and you are enough. And when this path seems lonely, as leadership often is, remember, you have your entire COSGP family cheering you on. I've given my number. Lots of people here give their numbers. And they really, really do want to connect with you. Don't forget that. Don't feel like you have to stand alone. Look around your screen right now. Every single person on this call would love to chat with you, would love to be a part of your journey and stand with you when you're alone. It's been a crazy year, guys, and I really wish I could hug you all, but since I can't, sending you kisses, sending you hugs, be resilient, be you, be together. I love you all. Thanks for a great year. Goodbye video, take six. I have a million things that I want to say. And I want to say them all. But Ed says that I only have time for one. So here it is. When I first came to COSGP, I came with a kid named Tyson Oswald. Uh, and Tyson said to me, I remember him saying this. He said, COSGP is like nothing else that you've ever experienced before. And I was like, whatever, dude, you're crazy. And uh, I, admittedly, I was totally a slow cooker with this whole COSGP thing. And uh, here I am, two years later, and I can hardly believe that things worked out the way they did. But here's over these last two years, here's the thing that I want you to not forget. And the thing that I want to tell you is that I am so proud to be a part of COSGP. I am so proud to be affiliated with wonderful people uh, like all of you. Uh, we literally have changed the world together. And I am so proud to have been able to carry the banner for this past year. And I could not be more proud to hand it off to uh, your next leaders. And so I'm proud to be part of COSGP and you should be proud and will be proud to be a part of COSGP as well. I already daydream about when we're gonna see each other in you know, years after all this time is over and we'll have some national gala or a gig or some conference and I'll see some of you. I, I can't wait for that to happen and I know it will. I know it won't be long. And so until we all meet again, I'll see you then and know that you're out of sight, but you're not out of mind. So see you then.